Pills. Hey guys, it's me. Sorry about the weird angle. I have you in my cabinet right now. Um, my kitchen is kind of a mess, so disregard that. But I'm actually going to be making a vlog today, so. It's something I haven't done in a while, but it's because I really haven't been up to much for a while, but I have a very long list of things that I would like to do today and things that I need to get done. So I want to take you along with me. I started off today by getting dressed because that kind of helps me uh, get into the mindset of, of doing things. I have to get things done. But first I'm going to have a little coffee and maybe go pick up my art studio just a little bit because it... I can't get anything done there right now because I've left it a mess from yesterday. Oh, but I do have um, several different pieces of exciting news that I want to tell you guys today, so that will be coming up shortly. First, I have to have some coffee before I die. Let me show you this. This is one of my most favorite things ever right now. It's um, a little coffee cup or a teacup or whatever. It's a mug shaped like a cauldron and it's from um, this company called Rogue and Wolf and they're UK based but whenever I saw it, I followed them on Instagram, I had to have it and it's been my favorite thing ever since like September. I guess I did get it in October. So it's my favorite October thing. So I'll try to remember to put a link to their Instagram or their shop in the store below. They have some other really pretty stuff, but um, because it's kind of a specialty shop, it's all very, very witchy, but it's kind of, um, it's a little more on the pricey end, and especially the UK prices I am not used to at all. <laughs> organized I am you guys such organizational skills so organized all right <laughs> I ran over my toe okay I'm just gonna pull this back somebody buy me fucking shelves storage bins so many storage bins okay So now you can see me and you can see everything. It's like Zoidberg. Hopefully you can hear me. I told you guys I didn't clean up. I, maybe I should have actually cleaned up. So, ah, tiny scissors. Oh, I did find my scissors. I thought I was gonna have to use the ones that I cut my dog's ass hair with, so I don't, and that's exciting. Okay, now it looks kind of organized. So we are going to be making one of these. See, so that one says August. Can you see it? Can you see it? No, not really. You're too far away. Now I can reach you and you can see me and hear me. Isn't that exciting? So, let's get that weird stuff out of the shop. We'll put you over here so you don't have to look at that stuff. You can look at my altar. So, focus on me, damn you. Yes. So I thought it would be really fun if I used, I have this um, new Sabrina comic book and in the back it has like this portion from like Madame Satan because Madame Satan is in the new Sabrina comic. So I thought it might be fun to use that as like my October one. Oh, oh, maybe I want the one with like the actual like Satan person in it. Yeah, see here they're all hailing Satan. Decisions, decisions. 
I'm just going to gingerly cut this out of this page. Very gingerly. Since you can't really see what I'm doing at all, let me tell you some of my exciting news that I have going on. The most exciting news that I have right now is that my husband and I are actually buying a house, a home here in Montgomery where I live. And um, I didn't want to say anything about it before because this isn't the first time that we've bought a house. The first time we um, tried buying a home, it did not work out. I didn't want to have to go through like that pain of like having to tell people that again. So I just did not mention it to you guys. The only people that really knew was like our parents. But we just got the word yesterday that uh, the final approval went through and we're going to sign uh, the closing documents next Friday because that's the earliest that they could do it. So I'm happy to announce that I will be moving again soon, which um, I know like I've moved once already this year and I've talked about that, but I'm out about to be moving into like my own home. So the next vlog video that I do probably um, is going to be about that and as soon as we get into it which will be next weekend um the 20th so today is actually uh thursday the 12th and we'll be moving into our home we'll get the keys to our house next friday so i'm really so fucking excited about that and it's so cute so now that i told you that i'm just gonna uh kind of let you look and see what it is i'm doing to make this page Okay, so I got the dividers done, as you saw. I'm just gonna put in some new um, calendar sheets and write out the days that I know that I have stuff going on. And that's really boring, so you don't need to see me in that. I don't know what we're gonna get into next. I'll have to see, I'll have to see what's going on. I need to clean up all this trash and not just leave it. So on top of moving to a new house, my other news that I have going on uh, for this month is that I'm actually going to be changing jobs. I'm actively looking for another job and I have uh, some interviews coming up that I really hope I get. It's going to be so much better. It's a much smaller uh, store. It's still like retail, but um, it's going to be so much better. I think I'm getting like ulcers from the job that I have right now. And that's part of the reason why I haven't been around as much is just because I work all the time. Like even though my job is part-time like I still like when I'm not working I'm recovering from being at work and it has just been really really like soul-sucking so I am so beyond ready to be fucking done with that like I and I am done with it there's just a shirtless man walking by outside I can't say anything I go outside my nightgown to walk the dogs so People probably see my butt all the time. I think I'm going to work on some illustrations. I need to get my planner done, but I don't fucking care about that right now. Like, I can get, finish that in a minute. Um, so, I think I'm going to sit here and do some paintings. And Because that's what I want to do with my life. I should have done that other stuff 
later. Yeah, this is my most recent uh, painting that I completed like for myself. Um, I cannot remember the name of it, but <clears throat> I really wanted to do something. I was feeling like what I was doing didn't have meaning, so I wanted to do something that I felt had meaning. And so I did this, and it kind of represents um, the like high standards that women's like bodies are um, held to, and like how much pressure we face each day. Um, just trying to reach those standards and really at the end of the day like you've tried so hard to uh, look this way and you know feel this way and act this way that you've given every part of yourself away to others and there's really nothing left for you so that's why I wanted to you know depict her with like really large breasts and like super thin waist where she you can see her bones but then she's got this huge you know Kardashian ass too and just like all of these really unrealistic expectations that we're told that we should have and like some girls l can look like that some people look like that and that's great for them but like not everybody is going to be able to look the same like not everyone looks the same I'm five foot tall like five zero sixty inches tall and you know for me like any sort of weight gain or loss looks drastic. Like I've gained a little bit of weight right now because I haven't been working out. You can see it in my face, but it's only, it's really only like five or 10 pounds. You know, for somebody else, you know, if I was like five, eight, that wouldn't make any difference in the world. So yeah, so that's uh, one of the things I worked on recently and I have to take photos of her to put up in the Etsy store. Let's do some drones. <laughs> 